Hey everyone, before we get started with the video, I just wanted to include this little segment in the beginning. We just hit a thousand subscribers, this is my first proper video after we hit that sub goal, so thank you very much everyone who subscribed. If you aren't subscribed yet, you totally should, but that's besides the point. I couldn't think of a proper video for a thousand subscribers, and it's not like I just became the most popular YouTuber, so I didn't think something super fancy would really make much sense. So I just wanted to thank everyone, and let's get on with the video. Hello everybody! And you'll never guess what we're back to. Yeah, that's right, another Subnautica video. Who would've guessed? And about a month or so ago, we trapped a Reaper Leviathan. It was pretty cool. And I believe I also said I'd be trapping some other Leviathans. So here we are, trapping another Leviathan. Before we get too far, I have a Discord server. You can find all sorts of things there, such as sneak peeks, game nights, and several insane Subnautica players who need to seek professional help. So, if any of that sounds interesting to you, there's a link in the description for that. And without further ado, Let's get on with the rest of the video. Now, the ghost is considerably larger. As you can see, yeah, you're big. Now it sucks, because your body kind of like goes down. But if we just kind of place an eye compartment here, we should be able to get a good idea. Yeah. As you can see, this thing is very big. So I'm going to do what I can to trap it. it this is going to be a much larger container than last time, and I'm guessing it's probably going to take a lot longer. And also, we are going to be going to a different biome for this, that being the Lost River, of course. Oh, there's one right there. Now, although I'd love to trap an actual in-game Ghost Leviathan, these things clip through the walls and move around way too much to actually be able to trap it. So I am going to have to resort to regular means. Although, I do have a very cool idea for where we can put this thing. Yeah, honestly, I don't think there would be a better place for this. Alright, I think this is a good place to start. As you can see, with it being 11 foundations long, this is definitely larger than the last one. And I think it was, what, like 8 or 9? So, yeah, much larger. Now, I know 11 doesn't sound like much more than 8 or 9, but... Remember, we're not talking about just one axis. We're talking about three, which means cubed, and honestly, I'm too lazy to do the math. I just know it is a lot more. If you want to do the math, go ahead. I don't care. But I want to get on with the video, so let's do that. A few moments later. We finished our ring of foundations. This thing is definitely looking kind of scary. Also, if you're wondering why I didn't make the tree completely centered, um, it definitely isn't because I, I didn't line things up correctly. Although, as a side effect, if you're viewing from the wall here, then it would be easier to see the whole ghost tree. So, it's not all bad. Oh yeah, well, it is all bad, because we gotta finish the rest of this thing. And there it is. Of course, it's not all loading in in one, but we got the foundation done. It kind of cuts off, which is interesting. So it's almost kind of looks like this whole thing is floating, which I guess technically it is. And you also might notice there are a lot less roots because apparently the roots here are like separate from the tree. And then whenever you build a piece inside of it, of course I'm using the terraformer mod, it just removes the trunk entirely. But I mean, hey, as long as it doesn't remove the entire tree, I'm happy. So I think next I'm going to start work on the base of the walls as well as the corners, just like we did last time. I'm going to cut through it a little bit more since obviously we've already seen it before, unless you haven't, in which case you should go back and see it. But I will be right back with you once we finish that. And of course here's the base. Next up are the corners. Now we got one corner done and if you're wondering why it's so tall, I would like to get pretty close to the top of the tree here. I really want to try and include the whole thing. I think that would be cool. But as a side note, you can't even see the bottom. The base pieces don't even load in when you're up here. Oh, I just realized how long it's going to take to build the walls of this thing. Oh, this is going to suck. Alright, we finished off the rest of the corners here. And we also got the upper T compartment ring kind of set up, that way we have a full frame for the place, and we pretty much just have to fill in the rest of the five sides. <laughs> Alright, we finished one wall. That took probably like 15 minutes to do. Yeah, this thing is going to be giant compared to the last cage. And now we got our second wall done. As you can see, it is getting very close to the end of the tree and is being absolutely lit up by it. But this is pretty cool. Although, now I guess I do have to work on the next wall, so back to work. There is our third wall. I will be making this wall out of regular corridors because, um, one, thumbnail purposes, and two, I kind of want this thing to have a backdrop, almost like a painting, so I would like that last wall to be made out of regular corridors. I think that would probably look better. And that is the end of the last wall. As you kind of saw just there, it does get kind of laggy with all these base pieces. 
As you can see, if I do that, there is definitely a big lag spike. But that means we got all the walls finished. There's actually quite a few ghost rays in here, which I guess is kind of cool. This is probably big enough for a ghost life. It should be. I don't see why it wouldn't be. But yeah, and also on this side of the wall, it is blindingly bright. I never realized how much light this thing put off. But yeah, that is very cool. Now we just gotta make the roof, then for the most part, the cage should be done. So let's get started on that. One eternity later. And we finally finished the roof. Technically, the cage is officially complete. However, I would like to add a little something, specifically a little room right here, as well as a hatch here on the side. Actually, I think I'm going to bring it out this way a little bit. I think that looks better. But now this way, we have a nice way to kind of observe the whole place from the ground. And then a bit farther up here, I'll put an actual observatory. This way, we can kind of get a 360 view. And, of course, you know the drill. There it is. This thing almost makes this cage look small, but I really like the way the ghost tree is in here and just adds, I guess, more life to this cage. And then obviously I think this was just a good place to build it in general. You're really sticking around this side, aren't you? I. Yeah, by the way, ghost leviathans are really big, but that's the cage finished. So if you liked it, go and subscribe. Why not? Okay. I'll wait. I mean, I, I would like to continue my outro here, but apparently Subnautica has more important things. Anyway, as I was saying, if you liked it, go ahead and subscribe. Why not? I have more videos like this planned in the future, so if you want to see those, obviously stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.